Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Shankar Ganesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kotiyam. I am delighted to present a lecture on the topic Application Phase and Organization Learning, which comes under the fourth module of Information Systems and Knowledge Management. This lecture is meant for Semester 5 BCA course of Kerala University. In this lecture, we are going to discuss codification of knowledge. Codification of knowledge is a process of converting knowledge in the form so that it can be handled by technology to store, transfer and share. Tools and techniques of codification of such knowledge of high value are discussed for implementation in the organization. Knowledge codification is organizing and representing knowledge. The structure and form of code makes knowledge easily usable. The code of knowledge makes it visible, accessible. Coding tacit knowledge is difficult for obvious reasons. But coding explicit knowledge is possible. Codify before employee leaves. When people retire or leave for another job, the knowledge possessed by them is lost as it is not codified in the organization. Once their exit is announced, it is very difficult to codify the knowledge as time is very short. It is much better to identify such people and involve them in formal knowledge management activities, making them member of communities and so on as a systematic process in their tenure. They should be involved in mentoring insight and foresight reviews and other knowledge sharing activities. Such involvement ensures capturing and coding of knowledge. First one, Wikis. Wikis is a collaborative tool for information and knowledge repository has been developed by software engineers. This offers a facility to codify knowledge instead of relying on standalone documents for recording knowledge from insight and foresight exit, interviews, and so on. These standalone documents have limited visibility, content lacks coherence, and knowledge is spread all over the document. Wikis offer user-friendly framework for quick access to standalone documents containing knowledge. Second one, storytelling. Stories are real-life situations that someone experienced. Experts find sharing stories an easy and effective way of illustrating solutions to problem situations and lessons learned. Storytelling is a method for experts to share their knowledge in a way that aids understanding and appreciation for unique situations. It is used in work group meetings, team projects, organizational unit meetings, training courses and in all formal gatherings. Storytelling is the most engaging and efficient communication tool. This tool is suggested as a tool for codifying knowledge. Third one, data mining. Data mining is a processing tool which unearths the knowledge from databases, emails, and transaction databases. These tools provide insight into the emerging scenario for knowledge worker to act. Such knowledge on confirmation can be coded for storage and sharing for use. Fourth one, yellow pages of experts and specialists. Tacit knowledge is difficult to code and process for transfer and sharing. The yellow pages is the best way to code people by profile and knowledge so that they can be approached to get knowledge. Yellow Pages is a database of experts created for the user to access. A typical yellow page of an expert would have the following data and information. First one, name, designation, location, ID, contact numbers, email ID, and photograph. Second one, area of expertise and knowledge strength. Third one, membership of communities of practice. Fourth one, web links to pages where the expert has worked and has created specific documents. Fifth one, building communities of practice, that is COP. 
Communities of practice are groups of individuals who regularly interact to share knowledge regarding a particular practice. COPs exist as project teams, work groups, organizational units, and even as professional associations. These COPs include people with varying levels of experience who have interest and shared levels of involvement in specific subject areas. They also have a sense of trust and willingness to gain and contribute knowledge to solve problems. The concept of COP emerged from the model of metrics organization where professionals and operations personnel interact vertically and horizontally with the people in the organization structure for different purpose in different roles. COP is a people body coming together with single context and interest to help and assist each other through sharing of their experiences, learnings and innovations. 6. One, mentoring Mentoring is a mutually agreed upon relationship in which mentors, experts in the organization advise and assist their mentees. From the perspective of knowledge management, it allows individuals to pair with experts as needed to learn ways to improve their skills. Its use is effective in individual cases because it allows mentors to share knowledge one-on-one -on -one with individuals to enhance their knowledge and skills. Seventh one, personal publishing, that is weblogs. Weblogs are personal journals of knowledge workers published on the World Wide Web or the Intranet. They enable individuals to publish text and images in an easy way. Readers can attach comments to individual entries which appear on the weblog visible for the author and other readers. Knowledge workers use weblogs to capture knowledge and to document current thoughts. It is a tool for voluntary sharing of knowledge. They become personal information repositories of individuals publicly known in the organization. By publishing weblogs, knowledge workers can be discovered by other knowledge workers who have similar interests. In this lecture, we have discussed the codification of knowledge. Hope all of you have understood the lecture. Thank you.